In this video, I'm showing you all of the amazing features that we have updated in Kittle over the last several months, as well as a few sneak peeks that I'm going to show you at the end. Now I'm gonna divide this video up into two main parts. One is features and tools. The other one is content specific. And feel free to use the timestamps down in YouTube to find the feature or piece of content that most interests you. Starting off with one of the most anticipated features in Kittle is the eraser tool. Now you can use the eraser tool to erase different marks or blemishes from art generated in our AI tool or perhaps anything that you might upload into Kittle. And not only that, with our erase and fill feature, now you can erase certain aspects of an image maybe that you generated with AI or perhaps there's a photo where you want to remove something in it but keep the back background and the color intact, well now you can do that with the erase and fill feature. Just make sure it's toggled on over in the right side panel when you are using the eraser tool. One of my personal favorite features is now the quick download or the quick export feature as I like to call it, where instead of having to toggle on and off the visibility of everything in your layers panel, now you can just select one or maybe multiple objects and elements in your design and quickly export them with this little button right here. And boom, there you have it. You've downloaded either one element or piece of text or maybe an illustration, or maybe you grouped together different assets and now you downloaded one piece of of a design, this will save you tons of time in your workflow just being able to select and download one piece of content. We also released our shape builder tool where now you no longer have to go over into the left elements panel and search for those common shapes to add to your artboard. You can actually go up into the top left part of the editor, grab the shape that you want and simply drag it and draw it however big or however long that you want it. And not only that, with our new rounded corners feature, you can actually grab the anchor points of the corners where two lines meet and you can round them off for a more subtle or rounded feature and you can do this also with other illustrations or assets like banners where there are two straight lines and you can curve them to be more rounded and more custom to you. A massive update to Kittle over the last month was brand new real life mockups with real life brands. We actually flew over to Germany in our Berlin office to take a live photo shoot of some amazing Kittle employees sporting real popular brands that people want to use in their mockups and obviously people want to search and buy online. So we took multiple different kinds of mockups from in a studio inside to out on the street to different flat lays. And while not all of the images are uploaded to Kittle quite yet, you can already go and search some of your favorites like Gilded or Bella Canvas or Comfort Colors and they will generate and populate right there from typing in the search bar of Kittle mockups. After an increasing demand for more blending modes, myself included in that category, we have released 12 more of the most common and popular blending modes for you to play with over in the right panel when you are using photos or textures or different pieces of PNGs or JPEGs that you've uploaded to Kittle. And if you want a deep dive into what each one of those does, I did a massive kind of like mini texture masterclass. You can go check out right Right here where I go through and define each blending mode but also just show you practically what happens when you apply that blending mode over a design so that might be helpful for you. Another sneaky feature that we released was presentation mode. And I don't think enough Kittle users know about presentation mode and aren't as hype about it as I am because already you can create a presentation or a pitch deck or maybe a design showcase and export it as a PDF and that's fantastic. But what you might not know is that you can actually just live present straight from Kittle and go into a slideshow and tell right from Kittle. And if you don't need to design or 
show live, you can actually share that presentation link with colleagues or friends or business partners, and they can actually view it on their own time, make comments on certain parts of the design, or reply to comments that already exist. And then when you go back and you edit the project in Kittle, the next time they view it, it will be updated for them in the presentation. So this is an extremely powerful feature that I think you should give a try, especially if you are working with multiple people or clients that you need to showcase designs to. While we released brand kits earlier in the year, the most common and basic next step for us was to release brand assets. So now obviously you can still go and you can add your favorite fonts, your colors, your styles. You can even create a preset for photography and add that as a preset style. But now you can upload or add certain assets, illustrations, elements, and save them as a brand asset to recall at any time in any project via that panel over on the left. So maybe you have a logo that you've worked on elsewhere. You want to upload it to Kittle. Boom. You can add that as your brand asset. And let's say that you did find an element that's a vector that you really, really liked. You've saved that as a brand asset. Well, maybe at some point you need to change the color. If you go into your brand asset settings and you change that color, it will also affect everywhere in your design when you come back to the Kittle editor, which saves you a ton of time. That way you don't have to go and you have to find every single piece of that asset and change the color. Just updating the master brand asset will change that all for you in your Kittle project. So brand assets is an amazing feature that I was personally waiting for and I know you are going to love it as well. One simple but effective feature we added was the quick artboard button. So now you don't have to go up and select the artboard tool and maybe draw it from scratch, or maybe you don't want to necessarily duplicate your entire design that you've been working on on one artboard. Well, in the quick panel menu that's right there above the artboard, you can actually just click the plus button and it will generate a duplicate artboard without the design. It'll just duplicate the size right there next to your artboard. And that way you can just duplicate and you can add as many artboards as you want. Extremely fast, quick, efficient. Boom, it'll do it right for you without having to draw it or put in different pixel sizes or anything like that. It's a fantastic feature, albeit simple, but I know you're going to get a ton of use out of it. Another simple addition is our social media preset sizes where now when you go and you open up a new project, you can go over to this category in the template sizes and you can select from the most common social sizes like an Instagram post for an example. And that way you don't have to start a blank project and go over into the right, type in different dimensions or try to draw them. We have all those presets there for you now, which I know is going to save you a ton of time. And on the AI front, we did a ton of improving and developing of our AI model over this year, but we also added the Kittle Copilot, which is a module, a prompt box that you can open or close at will, depending on what you've selected, and it will help you in different parts of the design process, whether you need more examples or iterations on the illustrations or art you're using, or maybe if you need text settings, or maybe you need to bulk edit text or get suggestions for text in your design, the Kittle Copilot can do that for you. And I have a full masterclass level detailed tutorial you can check out right here going through the capabilities of the Kittle Copilot. And one of the most important and probably significant updates to AI for us, in my opinion, was our AI sets generator where now you don't have to go and prompt a single prompt and generate art one by one you can actually go into our sets generator and click a preset style and then type six prompt boxes for you to get six art generations in the same exact consistent style, which is going to save tons of time. I know I've said that already so many times, but it really will save you tons of generation and prompting time just being able to do it in a set right there. If you haven't tried it out yet, I definitely recommend you give it a try or check out this video where I demonstrate it in several different options on YouTube. So that was a lot of features, but we're not done quite yet because while we also updated the tools and the features, we also updated the content side of things as well as some educational endeavors that we are doing right now. So let's get into some of those. 
Now, it is a wonderful time to be a Kittle user because we've officially partnered with Monotype to bring you over 130 of the most professional fonts in the design world, including Helvetica and Futura, all the way to Times New Roman and Bodoni and many, many more. In fact, you can actually search in the text settings box just Monotype. You can type in Monotype and every single one of them will show up there for you. We are so excited to be working on new templates utilizing these professional fonts, which we know are going to speed up and improve your workflow. And in addition to those fonts, we uploaded over 500 new fonts in addition to that to Kittle over the last few months, including some trendy and popular styles like surreal fonts where characters are mixed and matched together, as well as ink trap fonts. These two specifically, we have seen increase in usage over the last few months, and we think we will also see them increase in usage over 2025. So in the prompt box, in the text settings box, you can actually type in Surreal, or you can type in Ink Trap, and those fonts will come up for you right there. And this totals 1,140 fonts in Kittle right now for you to use. Even if you're watching this for the first time and you're a free user or you become a free user, you can use any of those fonts, even the monotype fonts, on the free plan. So go give it a try. Now, if you've ever found an illustration or a font and thought what other illustrations or assets or what other fonts would go or pair well with this one, well, I have good news for you because we have started publishing our own projects with design bundles, meaning we've already taken all of the illustrations, assets, fonts, colors, elements and combine them into our own design bundle where they're in one place for you to use at any time. Think about it as a bundle that you might buy from Creative Market or Design Cuts or Envato or Shutterstock, but we've already done it for you. So we've already compiled the fonts that go together, logo designs, label designs, colors, illustrations, banners that go together, and they are all in one place for you to recall at any time, or you can upload them as brand assets or parts of your brand kit to then recall at any time as well. So definitely check out the design bundles that I'm going to link down in the description for you to go and see. Now, you might not have noticed yet, but we actually revitalized and refreshed our homepage with a new and improved bold design that we are extremely excited to share. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely go and give it a look because this is paving the way for some amazing news and updates coming in January. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that, but definitely go check out the new homepage as well as the other pages and resources that we have because you never know what you might find that helps you improve your process. Now, speaking of help, we recently uploaded to YouTube an Evolution of Typography Masterclass where I go through everything from hieroglyphs in the ancient days to digital fonts you're using on your computer now and everything in between. And so if you've ever wanted to have a much more robust knowledge and foundation of typography, that is a great place to start. It's linked right here in the cards for you and down in the description as well. And similarly, if you've ever wanted to increase your knowledge of color and color theory, we actually have a seven day long or seven course long masterclass on color theory that's currently hosted on our blog right now. And we'll be turning that into video content in 2025. So we're extremely excited about that. But you can go and start that course at the link down in the description, or you're welcome to go to the blog and click on one of the articles that most interests you. We know color is one of those hard topics to master, and so we want to share our resources and expertise there to help increase your color knowledge. And if you sign up to do the full course long, you might actually get some special perks, so check out that link down in the description. Now, there's just a few more updates to highlight before you go, because I really want you to get excited and hype for what's coming in 2025. On the community side, I am excited to share that we have recently officially launched the Kittle subreddit for all of you that like to go and get help or post questions or get feedback on Reddit. That was obviously a clear next step for us, and I have linked that down in the description. So if you're on Reddit and you regularly use it, please consider joining the Kittle subreddit. 
In addition, we drastically changed and cleaned up and produced our Discord server with lots of different channels and areas for designers to hang out for a variety of categories or design types or styles or preferences. There are so many different amazing creators, including the Kittle creators who are responsible for creating our world-class templates. Many of them are now in Discord with their own special tag, and they'll be able to go hop in, answer questions, give feedback where needed. Needed. So if you're not a part of the Discord community, I definitely encourage you to go and check that out down in the description. And over the next several months, we're actually going to be working on some exclusive offline events. That's right. Not everything is going to necessarily always be digital. And one of the best next steps for us is actually connecting with Kittle creators, Kittle users, designers in different parts of the world, including where our main offices are. And so that is an initiative we've already started planning for. We're going to have master classes, mini master classes, galleries, events, things like that, that we're super excited to discuss. And while I can't give you a ton of details yet, you definitely want to make sure that you're signed up for the Kittle newsletter. So you don't want to miss anything. And as well, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because we're going to be updating you with videos. And you don't want one of those to pass by because we could be coming to a town or a city or a country where you are and you don't want to miss being able to come meet us in person, hang out and have a good time. So definitely sign up for the newsletter and make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that there were some sneak peeks, and I have two places for you to go and check those out. First is the live we did a couple weeks ago where Ben, one of our amazing product managers, came on live and showcased the advanced features that are coming to Kittle in January, and they were mind-blowing. Now, the second place that you can check that out is the recent Can You Do Us a Favor video where I go through and explain everything that Ben did, but I also drop a massive secret at the end of that video that that I think you want to know about. So you can check out both of those videos. They're linked down in the description for you to go check out, see what you think, and make sure you drop a comment on those videos. Now, that was a lot of updates and content that came to Kittle over the last several months, but in case you missed anything, you can check out those timestamps, go back, or you can check out all of the videos linked down in the description that show each one of those features in a tutorial or content specific. We're going to be uploading so many more videos over the coming weeks as well to make sure that you become a Kittle master. Now, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, and if you have any questions or suggestions, comment comment down below. Let me know which feature you're most excited about that's coming, or let me know a feature that you're using right now that you're most excited about, or give me suggestions for features and tools that you want to see because that helps our project managers prioritize them for you, and we want to do that. So make sure you comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.